Yeah, I know y'all can't see me. But uh, I just want to say, you know, thank you for the few people that have watched my videos so far. Stuff like that. You know, y'all can hit the like button, subscribe or whatever. I'm going to try to be doing this on a regular basis, stuff like that. I mean, it's just, it feels good to actually see people actually give a fuck about what I got to say. Because y'all really ain't got to fuck with me or care about what I got to say. Um, I really started this shit because I like racing. I like boxing. I drag race on the side and stuff like that. I'm actually getting my car back on the road and stuff like that. I drive an SRT8. Um, but besides that, I love boxing. One of the few sports that I can actually follow and actually know a lot about. I'm not a fucking historian on boxing like Thunderdome Boxing or Precise Percenter. I might not be saying his name right, but, you know, shout out to that guy. Ego. And I and let me tell y'all something, man. I don't have a problem with none of these dudes. I like all the channels. They're all informable, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, I'm not going to lie. I get tired of fucking boxing scene and... 24 hour boxing news and all that shit but these other dudes man like they get up here like Dante's boxing man like dude you have some interviews that you do I know you got a huge following and fan base and shit like that but dude you biased as fuck and you know you are man we wa I watched a video where a dude wasn't saying what you wanted him to say about a certain fighter and you actually cut the damn interview off like, who the fuck does that? But I guess you do that. No, I'm, I don't have the fortune to fly around the United States to see these fights and shit like that, but I love boxing, man. I'm not going to follow no bullshit like Floyd Mayweather fighting Conor McGregor because that shit don't excite me. You know, I don't think it's bad for boxing, you know, but... It shouldn't count for certain things that uh, they wanted to count for, like going for a boxing record of 50 and all that stuff. But um, I'm looking forward to this fight tonight. <clears throat> for the fact that a lot of people feel like this will solidify... Gennady Golovkin as a true middleweight champion and this will be his first test and style make fights and I'm going to keep it 100 the only way Danny can win this fight is unless he comes out with a reckless abandonment and he hits him with a lucky shot and I'm not saying that that shit can't happen. But damn. If it does. Damn. But if it's going the way I think it's going to go. What I'm very strongly as. What I'm thinking that he's going to try to come bum rush him. The first 40 seconds of the fight. Until Triple G hit his ass with that jab. And he snapped his head back. And beat his body like a drum. And just break him down. I don't think Golovkin is going to fight this dude like he fought David Lemieux. Or he fought Kell Brooks and all this shit. I think he's going to hurt this dude. I don't give a fuck about the weight. The weight bullying. That's that's what's been going around today. The weight bullying. I don't give a fuck about that. You know, boxing has been fucked up for a while. You know? Tainted. it. And it ain't just started with Floyd Mayweather. But um, I don't really see this fight going to a decision, especially him knowing what happened to Kovalev and the Andre Ward thing. I don't see Gennady leaving this fight in the hands of the judges. Nor do I see Danny Jacob, because to be honest, when I watched the weigh-in, dude, they sound like it was more Kovalev supporters there then Brooklyn and that's where they're fighting at so this 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 I think they're already fighting on Barclay Center or the Madison Square well it's still New York who cares but um this 
this I, I don't in my honest opinion I don't feel like this fight determines if Gennady Golovkin is the best middleweight out there he just is the best middleweight out there he holds the majority of the belts whether you gave the belt up or you was a fucking paper champion or you didn't deserve it but fact is is that that dude's here he's real and until somebody beats him it is what it is you know fuck how HBO's building them up to be the big bad monster and all that shit fuck that fuck HBO's commentary you don't want to hear them commentating bitch mute your TV if you are looking at a fight and the fight itself cannot like you can't determine with your own fucking eyes who's winning the fucking fight and the commentary people are persuading how you're how, how the fight is going in your opinion to your ears to you a casual oh we got company y'all but um This this fight, man. This, okay. This fight, I don't think that this is gonna be what's gonna solidify him as a true middleweight champion. Gennady Golovkin's gonna run, run through this motherfucker like shit, like baby shit, like a baby who just drunk some motherfucking sour milk and just shit it. They pay. Yeah. This was about to happen. <laughs> this is a no fucking brainer, dude. And if 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 Danny Jacobs does win, throws a lucky shot in the dark, or he outboxes him, I'll eat crow. Fuck it. It is what it is. Anybody got any parting words? Nephew? You got something to say? Huh? No. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, this this is gonna be a good fight. And like I said, I appreciate all y'all who's watched the video. Showing some love and stuff like that. I'm gonna be trying to do this on a regular basis. I'm not gonna bore y'all with 30 minute, 40 minute hour videos. Straight to the point. It's a lot of cussing over here. So if you're Christian and all that stuff, you might not want to come over here, baby. It's a lot of motherfucking f words being dropped. Have a good night, y'all. Enjoy the fight.